Hello dears, right now our topic is pair of straight lines. But before going to the pair of straight lines, first we have to analyze the general second degree equation. What do you mean by that? That we have written the equation ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equals to 0. This equation is called a second degree general equation and what it can represent? See, it can represent a pair of straight line, it can represent a circle or parabola or ellipse or hyperbola. So first of all, we have to identify that in which condition it will represent which equation or which curve. Okay, now first we have to understand del. What is that del? It is a determinant A, H, G, H, P, F and G, F, C. What is a here? a is the coefficient of x square. What is h here? h is the coefficient half of the coefficient of x y. Similarly, b is the coefficient of y square and uh, rest of the things you can easily understand by the equation 1. Now, in which condition it will represent the straight line? Straight lines means pair of straight lines multiplied together. Say this. First of all, if del is equals to 0, if del equals to 0 which is given in the rightmost part if del that determinant is equal to 0 and h square is greater than equals to a b then equation 1 will represent a pair of straight lines that will be a pair of straight lines got this now in the case of circles in the case of circles, we need four conditions to be a real circle. First thing, del must not be equal to zero. Second thing, a must be equal to b. That is, that is, coefficient of x square must be equal to the coefficient of y square, but it should not be equal to zero. Otherwise, it will become a linear equation. Again, h should be equal to zero. What is h here? H is the coefficient of x y, half the coefficient of x y. And along with that, g square plus f square minus ab must be greater than equal to 0 to be a real circle. So all these four conditions must be satisfied. All these four conditions must be satisfied to be a real circle. And for a parabola, it is very easy. That is, del must not be equal to 0 and h square must be equal to ab. For ellipse, del must not be equal to 0 and h square must be less than ab. And for ellipse, it del must not be equal to 0 and h square must be greater than ab. So, any given equation, second degree equation can be identified as a pair of straight line or parabola or ellipse or hyperbola. Okay.